Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Planet Crafter. Where in the last episode, we went ahead and started building this base on top of the waterfall and we tried to put down a whole bunch of more tree spreader tier 3s here in the canyon biome. But unfortunately, there wasn't much success. As you guys can see, it's still pretty sparse. So what I wanted to do today is go ahead and move this dark moon base, or I don't know what we call this, the dark moon base, and it's because you can't really see it very well here in the forest. And what I wanted to do is rebuild the base here inside the mushroom cave. Now the reason for building inside the mushroom cave, well there are a few reasons. Uh, first of all, the lighting is so much better than the dark moon biome itself. And second of all, I think that this area is way more interesting than the Dark Moon biome. I mean, there's a lot more happening down here than there is on top there. And the third reason is that it's pretty accessible to both the Waterfall biome as well as the Dark Moon biome. I mean, it's a very central spot, so I thought it's a way better spot to actually start building a base in. So the last thing that I want to do is actually go ahead and start filling out our Waterfall base. Now, we built this base. But there's still not a lot going on inside. So what I was thinking is maybe putting a couple of furniture pieces like around and just making this place look a little bit more homely. So let's get cracking with all of that. Oh wait, before I start with that, I wanted to go ahead and just quickly address some of the comments. Now in some of the comments, people were saying they don't exactly know where to get all the butterflies. Uh, I did kind of explain it in one of my previous videos, but uh, maybe it wasn't that clear. So yeah, we've got 15 butterflies in total, I'm sure you guys all know, and they basically break up into three categories. Category 1 is going to be all the butterflies that can be crafted through the incubator using the common larva. Category 2 is going to be the rare larva, which is also going to be crafted in the incubator. Category 3 are going to be the collectible larva, which you're going to find around the map. Okay, so under category 1, we've got the Empalio, we've also got the Galax, we've got the Absterius, we've got the Azure, as well as the Liani, as well as the Fancy. All of those are uh, crafted using the common larva. Then we've got the Rare category, which is category 2, which is, uh, I think that goes to the Chevron, the Amel, we've got the Lyax, as well as the Penga. So all of those are crafted using the Rare larva. So then finally we get to all the collectibles. So the collectibles are the Forente, we've got the Futura, we've also got the Nire, as well as the Lorpen, and the Albin. So those five are collected, oh, or collectible. And uh, I'm actually going to show you exactly where to find them around the map. Now three of the larva, the Florente, the Nire, as well as the Lorpen, I actually found them around this crater base. Now, what I do is I go around and I see whatever larva I can find. I pick up a lot of the larva and then I go and put it here into the incinerator or the shredder and I delete them because then they spawn new larvas around you. So in that way, you'd be able to keep cycling through the larvas and then hopefully it spawns in the actual larva that you want. And the next biome is here at the blue biome. Well, I'm not sure what you guys call it. I call it the blue biome. If you look around the ground here, you should be able to find some of these Elbin larva and that should be able to give you the black butterfly. So yeah, um, I use the same principle and just collect the larva that I find and incinerate them or shred them. And hopefully you get a couple that spawn for you, some of the Elbin ones. And the last one is my absolute favorite, the Futura larva. And that of course you find here in the mushroom biome, I don't know, the mushroom cave. And uh, yeah, they pretty much scattered all around the map and I'm sure you'll be able to find a ton of them if you look around. And with that, you should be able to get all the butterflies. So yeah, I know that there are a couple of other locations where you can actually find some of the larva, but that's where I found all the larva and yeah, you guys should be able to find them too. So yeah, good luck finding all of the butterflies. Okay, so let's get cracking with our mushroom base. Now, what I wanted to do is uh, before I start uh, deconstructing this base, uh, let's go actually find where is the mushroom base. Oh, it's over here. It's pretty easy. Uh, so what I was going to do is... Whoa, I had a bit of a stutter there. I want to first start building my base. Now, I think I've got my underground bunker over here. And what I was thinking is maybe we can just bring up the menu and I'm going to start building some compartments. Now, obviously, you want to have it in a spot where... It's not going to like obstruct anything. So maybe like that. That's cool. 
And I was thinking of making like one that is like four and then like another four and then hopefully we can actually, co well, can connect another couple of of these living compartments on top, but I don't know if that's going to be possible now. Hmm. Come on, connect. You know, sometimes these things don't connect very well to each other. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it's because I need to like rotate it. What? See, this is what I don't like about the building mechanic of like the large living compartments. Sometimes they don't work. You actually have to like build another living compartment. Oh, you know what? This is super irritating. So what I have to do is I have to build another one of these. Build one on top. There we go. And then hopefully we can build one of these now that can connect to that. Let's see. No, come on. There we go. Okay. So hopefully we can deconstruct these now. Ah, oh, come on. Here we go. Okay, there we go. We got that. Hey, we got another one of these larvae just chilling over here. Nice. Anyway, I'm going to pick that up a bit later. Let's keep on building. And uh, what I want to do now is let's go and put this one. Ah, this is like really irritating. Okay, so that's going to be like the main base itself. Now, I don't think I have too much more resources left over. The only thing that I've got is we're going to have a doorway, which is going to be over here. So the next thing I want to do is actually build some kind of balcony that connects up to this door. And that's going to be like a front veranda kind of area for this. Okay, so we got our like landing or veranda area kind of like done out. And I think this looks kind of cool. It kind of makes it like easy to access. So I think this will be like the beginning. And now I guess uh, the next thing that we need to do is kind of uh, build, I don't know, some kind of ladder that actually can take us upstairs. Now, I think maybe it's better to put it closer to the door. So maybe we just uh, put it in there. That will be kind of cool. That will take us upstairs. So we can use this area for, I don't know, lots of different things. So the next thing I want to do is maybe go and put in all of these windows. And uh, let's see, maybe we can put in... I got no more inventory. Okay, so that looks cool. I love that. I think I, well, I put a couple of iron pieces and things in here. Let's just grab that. Let's go grab another couple of them. And uh, let's finish up the windows here. I want to finish this up. This will look cool. There we go. Well, it was only that one. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's cool. That's upstairs. Uh, let's go downstairs. We can put in a couple of windows. Nice. Whoa, what, what, just, what just happened now? Oh, I went up the ladder while trying to put in a window. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's that. That's cool. No more resources. How many, how many more do I need? I need one, two, three. I think that's it. Okay, so that's all I need. We only need three more iron. One, two, three of these. There we go. Okay, let's put in our... And I think I'm dying. Let's see. Yes, I need water and food. So that's another thing that I would like to do here is set up a couple of farms. Uh, what do we need for the farms exactly? Oh, we need a couple of bee larvae, which I think I've got. I think I've got all of these materials. So I might just go and get or grab them from the other bases. And hopefully we can just set up one farm that would at least give us food while we're here. And yeah, water is not something that I would actually worry about because we got all the water that we need in the river over here. Okay, so back from my excursion, and I must say the base looks really cool with all these windows. I absolutely love it. Now, I don't know where I'm going to set up the farm. It's probably going to be upstairs here. Uh, let's see if I can put a farm right... Ooh. Oh, wait, you can't build them upstairs. You can't build them indoors. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Okay, so we're going to have to build one outside. So, yeah, I think that will look kind of cool. Now, the only thing is we need to put in a seed. And hopefully that will give us all the beans that we want. So that's cool. So the last thing I want to do is actually, I want to go and put in a kind of like all these windows at the, well, these ceiling windows pieces. Because I want to see like the environment around me, you know, that's, 
There we go. Look at that. That's much better. I don't know. I feel like this base is complete. Anyway, there's still a lot of like space that I've got no idea what I'm going to actually do with this. So if you guys have any like ideas, please leave it down in the comment section. That will be really awesome. And uh, yeah, maybe we can fill this up with some cool stuff. But for now, at least uh, I've got all my life support. I've got food as well as I've got water in here. Okay, so the last thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and deconstruct the actual teleporter. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting that down here. I just think it's a far better space to have a teleporter. So I guess we're going to move it from there and we're going to put it right here. So let's see, uh, where can we actually put this? No, we're going to put it like this, this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, there we go. And now we can actually just call this the mushroom. Mushroom base, of course, base. Nice. Okay, so we got the mushroom base. So we can teleport to the main base. Nice, we got all our stuff. And then we can go back to the mushroom base. Nice, I love this. Okay, cool. So I feel like this area is complete now. Um, Yeah, so I don't know what we're going to be putting in this, but it's going to be interesting, hopefully. Now, let's go to our waterfall upper base. Yes. So now what we want to do is we want to start putting furniture in here. So I think I'm going to like dedicate one of these blocks to like kind of putting in like a couple of things, maybe a couple of monitors, a couple of like sofas and uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, and there it is. This is my comm section. Well, my comm station. So we pretty much got everything that we need up here. Uh, we can see our power usage. We've got the GPS, which is really weird because we've got this like random base on top of the waterfall. So yeah, that's kind of cool. We've got our satellite, well, our, pal our planetary view, as well as this, I guess. We've pretty much unlocked everything here, so that's kind of useless. <laughs> Then we obviously got our biomass as well as uh, we've got our terraformation stage. Then we also got, this is our terraformation stage. Oh yeah, I mean, they come in two different kind of monitors, I guess. So those are the monitors that I can build pretty much. Um, I don't know, like, do we unlock any other kind of monitors? Hmm, I don't think so. Anyway, so that's about it. Uh, now we can actually start building some kind of furniture. Now, yeah, let's go grab, I got a couple of iron pieces here and we got a couple of like fabric pieces, which I put over here. So we hopefully can build some couple of stuff. Now, the first thing we need a chair, kind of just, uh, let's build it like a kind of like to the side. Yes, look at that. That looks awesome. Okay, and then we want a sofa and I want a sofa against the window here. So that looks kind of cool. Uh, there. Yeah, cool. That looks nice. Then maybe we want to, maybe a table. Oh, I need a titanium. Uh, do I have? Yes, I do. Okay, we got a titanium. So let's go and put, uh, maybe we put the table right in the middle of the room. And we can put a couple of these things around it. Uh, yeah, let's see. Can I put it? Uh, come on. So I guess that's the closest I can get it. So we've got one there and let's put, I think it's easier to do it while you're standing on the table. Uh, there, so we got another one. Oh, I need more fabric, of course. Uh, no, fabric. And uh, some iron pieces, I guess. And uh, yeah, let's see. Maybe I can put... I hope it's not going to be too close to this chair now. Maybe I need to take that chair away. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit too crazy. I like that. That looks cool. Like this whole area here. I'm, I might just put something on the table just to like kind of decorate. I think that will be nice. Now, what's another thing that we can build? Maybe a bed? I don't know if a bed is going to be like too much. Yeah, I don't know. Bed's not going to look cool here. Um, maybe another sofa. Uh, I don't know. Is it like too much? If I put a sofa like right here. 
No, that looks cool. Yeah, I think that's cool. Okay, now the next thing I can do is I can actually put a couple of like plants and stuff in here. Okay, so for the plants, I want to see what kind of seeds I have left over. Uh, I don't think I have too many. Look, I'm not really going for any multiplier. I just want them to like look cool. So I think I'm going to build, yeah, we're going to build three different kinds of plants. So I think that should be enough. Um, I've got all the other resources that I need. I think I've got everything. Let's go to our, what is a waterfall upper? Yeah. Okay, and here's our room. Nice. So what we can do is maybe put a couple, well, put one in the corner here. That will be cool. One here and maybe one over here. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Uh, let's put one of these seeds in there. Let's put a seed in here and put a seed in there. Nice. Okay, the only other thing I want to do is I want to put something on this table and maybe like a golden effigy would be awesome. Now to find a golden effigy, I think I can do it by that golden crate that's over there. Or actually, you know what I can do? I can just go to the mushroom biome um, because now I've got the mushroom base. So let's go to the mushroom base. And there should be the golden crate, which is right over here. So let's go and grab that. There we go. That's perfect. Oh, there's a couple of cool stuff in here. Oh, we got a golden seed. Mm. Now I'm going to save that for later. I'm going to keep it in here for later. Because I think the golden seeds are more valuable. I'm not really just going to like populate pot plants just with golden seeds. I think that's a kind of waste. Anyway, let's go back. Let's go to our waterfall upper. And... Uh, Let's see, what did we get? We got our golden effigy. So maybe I can just... Ah, no, there. Ah, there we go. Cool. Yes, look at that. Yeah, our room is complete. I love this room. I think this room looks super cool. It's like it's made to be like this. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is I want to go and I want to put a couple of ceiling pieces in here. So how many are we going to need? We're going to need four. We're going to need 16. 16 of the ceiling pieces. So for that, we are going to need 16 iron. Uh, I think I've got enough iron. Yeah, I do. We don't need any of that. But the only other thing... Oh, no, no, no. I don't need iron. We need titanium. And we need cobalt. Uh, okay, so let's go back to base. Go back to main base again. Uh, let's see, main base. Oh my goodness, it's difficult to find the main base sometimes. There's so many teleporters. Okay, um, yeah, cobalt. Let's do the second locker. We want 16, no, not so many. E, why is it going so slowly? Okay, there we go. That's 16 of those and uh, let's grab a titanium. Yeah, titanium. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just going to do the rest of them. Okay, back to our waterfall upper. So now we should be able to put in all the ceiling pieces that we need. Nice. And this should be the last one. And we got three little titanium pieces left over. Nice. What's happening outside? Anyway, let's see. Super cool. Yeah, this definitely adds a nice aesthetic to the base. Wow. Anyway, let's go back inside. Nice, this base is definitely coming around. Actually, you know what? This waterfall upper, I don't like the teleporter like this. I think what I want to do is build a teleporter like this. So when I teleport out or teleport in, it takes me straight to this area. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so this is called the Waterfall Upper. It's gonna keep it like that and that's fine. So overall, yeah, I'm super happy. I love this space so far. Well, we still got an extra room, which I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing in it, but cool to have like more space than you need. So guys, that brings me on to the end of another episode. Wow, I'm super happy with our base here in the Mushroom Cave. 
I think it's definitely worth it. And I absolutely love the room that we built on our waterfall upper base. Super cool, and we got beans. Nice. Yummy. Cool. And we got so many little cool things. Nice. Let's pick up this Futura larva. We got another one of these. Yeah, I dig this base. It's definitely worth it. Anyway, guys, you'd let me know what you guys think of our base and what the playthrough is like. Please leave it down in the comment section. You guys know I love when you guys comment. And uh, if you guys haven't liked and su or subbed, please sub if you haven't subbed. That's cool. And yeah, please smash that like button. You know that the YouTube algorithm absolutely loves it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Peace out.